Hello everyone, welcome. Today I will be comparing the brand new LG G3 against the Sony A95K flagship OLED TV. These two TVs are the company's flagship OLED TVs and they will compete against each other and they have individual features that would suit a certain customer. So I'm going to list some of those uh, few little details that you need to know before you purchase any one of these two TVs. The LG G3's design is essentially identical to last year's G2 and it's it's very thin. Make no mistake about it, it's a very, very thin TV. It's very elegant in its design and can be wall mounted. So in fact, it even comes bundled with a wall mount uh, rather than a typical stand. So it, it's, a, it's very ideal for homes where you want to wall mount uh, this kind of TV. It's a fantastic uh, TV for that uh, regard. But when you compare it against the Sony A95, L, that model comes with an aluminum stand, uh, a very, very sturdy one, a very good aluminum stand. And I know people um, are very critical to this. People want a very solid stand that they can have and they will not need to um, maybe put it on their wall or start creating holes in the wall to mount their TV. So they need this solution. And this thing is very, very good. You know, you know people want convenience so it, people want convenience and another thing again even though it's coming with this aluminum stand the a95l is still very very slim as well so it's still very slim it comes in 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 three sizes 55 inches 65 and 77 inches um the G3, on the other hand, comes in a lot more sizes, 55, 65, 77, and 83 inches. Um, so this is a big deal for a lot of people that would like to purchase this, this, this TV. They need size options. If you need something larger, you go for the LG G3 because you have a larger uh, TV uh, that you can purchase. Another thing, again, is that the G3 is coming with the brand new uh, micro lens array technology that allows the tv to get incredibly bright very very bright almost on the level as this qd oled tv from from sony the a95l but you know one thing is the fact that you you have to look at if the features you're getting on each one is better than the other so the, 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 these are things you look at it's not just the tv being ridiculously bright in fact the g3 can hit 2000 nits from the test that has been conducted uh on the on the television now as expected both of these tv sets feature uh incredible um incredible resolution like you get 4k resolution on both tv and the fact that you have hdr support you have hdr 10 you have hlg you have dolby vision formats um none of the two tvs come with hdr 10 plus the thin lg g3 has over the sony a95l is it's coming with dolby vision iq and the g3 is better suited for gaming the way um the, the, the way it, it comes in and, and i know a lot of people look at this fact before they they go out to 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 purchase the, the the television that they would like to purchase it is very important that you know uh this fact before you go and purchase any of these two tvs because uh, i know people like to game a lot on their television uh people like to game a lot uh on their television and they need their TV to be in the position to support every type of uh, gaming experience that they that they would want to to have. So it is very very important. Okay, so let's uh, go down to the other major features that you will get. You will have filmmaker mode on the LG. Uh, if you if you are buying the G3, you will have filmmaker mode feature and it's very important because when you look at the a95l from from sony they don't include filmmaker mode support there is no filmmaker mode support and the uh you can game in dolby vision at 4k 120 hertz on the lg g3 you can do that 
on the on the sony a95l you just cannot do that the sony a95l is only just limited uh for you to watch content just in 4k 120 hertz that's all in hdr 10 it cannot do dolby vision uh like that so it's very 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 important you know this so if you're a gamer if you want the best gaming experience uh my advice uh would be for you to get the g3 because from what i'm seeing already the g3 is by far a better tv for gaming uh the other thing again is the is the speakers that you're getting on both tvs uh look sony is better in the speaker department sony has a better speaker uh setup overall because it's coming with the acoustic surface audio plus uh speaker that allows the, the tv to vibrate and um, reproduce very good sound when you compare it against uh, the lg g3 that doesn't really have that uh incredible kind of like speaker setup with its design so you don't get that if you like your audio from your from your tv to be very good you will prefer easily the you will easily prefer the sony because of the way it's made but overall um these two tvs are very premium but another big um deciding factor is the audio support that they have the sony the A95L does not support any DTS format. Zero. The only DTS it supports is digital surround. And it's very, very critical. You know this. Uh, it supports Dolby Atmos, but that's for the Dolby technology that uh, can pass through it. But it does not support any, any major DTS. As opposed to the LG G3 that supports every DTS. Supports DTSX, DTS Digital Surround, DTS HD. Um, the only DTS is that's that's supported on on the on the Sony is DTS Digital Surround, and that's not good enough because you're buying the latest flagship TV. You need for it to support virtually every DTS uh, format that is existing right now, but it's not giving you that. And another thing again is the fact that you get Dolby Vision IQ on the LG you don't get that uh you really don't get that uh, on the sony the other thing again is that you know both panels can can actually play games properly they, they both feature the 120 hertz panel for smoother and a more responsive gameplay and both can handle proper 4k 120 hertz gaming signals um variable refresh rate auto low latency uh, modes are supported on both sets um just that LG can support this Dolby Vision gaming uh, that you cannot get on the Sony. So that's the thing. Both offer four fully featured uh, HDMI 2.1 ports. Um, one out of the four will support ERC. Uh, that that means you can hook up your 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 sound bar, your AV receiver. It's going to work flawlessly. Uh, so look, very, very good uh, TVs between the two, but the processor on the Sony is slightly better. The, 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 the Sony is using the MediaTek Pentonic 1000 chip, uh, which is a flagship chipset. It, it's made, um, it, it, it basically, it means that this particular TV is going to be top notch in terms of navigation. So navigation on it might be slightly better on the sony a95 l when you compare it to the g3 um and and these are things you have to look at you know th these are things you have to look at before you get the tv and the g3 the, the g3 comes with the web os 2022 um uh, sorry 2023 version but you cannot update it you can update it whereas the sony a95 l comes with uh the latest google tv and you can actually update it. So these are very, very, very important critical details that you need to know. And not only that, the the Sony comes with Chromecast support. Uh, the LG does not have Chromecast support. These are things people look at. If you need Chromecast, you get the Sony. If you don't need Chromecast or you don't really care about Chromecast, you can actually get you you can get yourself the the LG, it's fine, especially if you game a lot. So it, it, these are things you need to know. 
um finally both support google assistant there, there there isn't any issue in that you you have google assistant on both tv uh you have everything you need on these tvs at the moment it's just that there are minor details that i can see people will look at before uh they, they purchase uh, them individually so look uh finally 2000 nits of brightness is something they are rating for the G3 and uh, look it remains to be seen if it's going to be better than the Sony uh, I really don't see that happening overall um, I really don't see that happening I think picture quality will be almost on the same level between the two um between the two so um i'm going to drop details for these two tvs down in the description below if you care about to see everything about these two tvs um they are both excellent tvs um for me i feel if you're a gamer you get the g3 if you if you're someone that watches a lot of movies and you need an incredible visual experience you get the sony so do subscribe to the channel do like our content i'll see you guys very much next time